goes in, the rider mounts in the stalls, they are all in. Under starters' orders, and they're off, and Field Cat was badly away, losing something like 15 lengths out. In front, we see Sochi with his green and uh, white cap from Alice May now assuming the lead. And then in third position, we see Fire Drake. Caitlin is up there with the leader. Siniska is also contesting for the first four. Then comes uh, the favorite um, uh, Tough Cookie with the red cap. Uh, towards the back of the field, I can see Joe Moya's horses just a minute. All of them together with Joshua and April Song. And towards the back of the, or rather bringing up the rear, he sees the entire field is Field Cat. There's a... Uh, they're well spread, something like 12 or 13 lengths between first and last. They go past the 1,000 meter marker and it is Siniska. Siniska, the new leader by two lengths from Alice May in second. Sochi is third as they emerge behind the trees in my view. And then Caitlin coming up to challenge for the fourth. They're still behind the trees, but they're going into the cemetery bend proper and coming towards the 600 meter marker. It is Siniska out in front from Fire Drake. Then comes uh, on the outside Sochi then in the fray is also on the far side just a minute they uh, come into the home straight 450 meters left race it's fire drake who hits the front with Caitlin on the far side it's uh, the two stable companions fire drake and Caitlin the others seem to be outside out of this race Caitlin on the rails followed by fire drake and then followed by two Joe Murk tough cook is not going to make it neither is April song but it is Caitlin who finally delivers Caitlin wins it. Caitlin breaks her maiden duck. Caitlin, the winner from in second spot, is April Song. Third is Tough Cookie. Fourth is uh, rather Tough Cookie. Fifth is Alice May. Sixth is Just a Minute. Then came Joshua and then Siniska. And last of all was Field Cat. But Caitlin is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning jockey of the Capital FM Maiden, Leslie Sercom. Les, congratulations and well done. When I look at the performance of Caitlin last time out, I see nine out of 11 when she was heavy favorite to win it, having been in the frame second and third the two previous times. Is it the change of jockey, the change of tactics or both that produced the winner today? Um, I, I don't know, Zarko. I mean, the point is she ran a great race today. Um, I'd like to thank the trainer because she's uh, been training her. And uh, yeah, I mean, today the ground was good. The position was good. The start was good. I think last time she had a very bad start. She was draw drawn right on the outside on number 11. So, you know, today this, her position was uh, favorable to her. I think you're very fair, Les. I think you're right. When I remember, unwind and remember the race, she had a bad start. She was towards the back of the field, maybe drawn on the outside. No Richard Kibet's fault, but I think now with you and with the good start and always towards the pace, never worse than fourth, I think you, you produce the goods. Congratulations and well done. Uh, thank you very much. Patsy, I think she was long overdue. It's a very nice filly. And I think it's just a pity she didn't come to hand before the Oaks or something like that because you could have run her in at least one classic. But it's always good to get her in under one's belt. And I think she can only go uh, better from here. Um, Zarka, she's always not been a very strong filly. She's taken time to come to hand. Um, she still needs to get a bit stronger. Um, and she's lean, so we have to be very careful with her work. Um, but today she... She ran well. The last time she had a really bad draw of 11 and Kibet found himself lying second, which made, you know, she, she lost a lot of ground by going quick out the stall. So we've changed the bit as well. So Leslie was able to settle her. Uh, just the one question. There's only two more meetings left before the end of the season. Given the fact that they want to give her a rest, maybe beef her up a bit. Will she run this season again? Saka, I'll see how she comes out tomorrow. Well done, Patsy Sercom. Caitlin breaks her maiden duck for the connections uh, of, uh, let's see who the owners are here, because there are many, uh, Mez Dames, uh, Carol Bremner, uh, Maggie Gray, Julia Hunter, and uh, Mr. David Ansel. So proud owners, four of them. 
Uh, it's a nice to be in a syndicate, nice to make four people happy, including, of course, two more, by definition, the jockey and the trainer. So uh, without any further ado, we'll just wait for the presentation of the goodies for the FM Capital Maiden, where Caitlin broke her maiden duck today, and deservedly so, for the stable of Patsy Circum. Caitlin uh, doing, producing the goods for very happy syndicate of Maggie Gray, who is here, who shares the horse uh, with Julia Hunter, with Carol Bremner, who is not here today, and uh, uh, for Mr. David Ansel as well. But uh, Maggie Gray is here to do the honors for the owners, and uh, Ian and John will present the goodies to the winning connections. Leslie, of course, steering the filly to her first win of her career, and Patsy Sercom producing the first winner, uh, or rather uh, winning uh, form of Caitlin as a trainer. So without any further ado, let's just proceed with the uh, distribution of these goodies. And uh, four people happy in the ownership camp, one happy trainer and one happy jockey. And I think it augurs well for the horse's future. Well done. 